gonna start. We're gonna start. Um, this is a group of 12 teenagers. We were 13, but one had to leave early. They worked for two weeks um, with me and a couple of wonderful assistant teachers who have done other things in the theater project. Worked it for two weeks for six hours a day. Plus no. Uh, learning how to develop pieces improvisationally and the emphasis was on the process of learning how to develop pieces. And one of the pieces we worked on was James Thurber's The Last Flower, which I think he wrote between the two world wars. It's uh, remarkably and unfortunately as timely today as it was when he wrote it, and it's um, appropriate that it's presented as a piece grade. So they're going to introduce themselves. I'll tell you just a little bit about the piece, and then we'll do it. Okay, go. piece which he calls which he calls a fable the beginning is the beginning is clear and it has to do with the developing or redeveloping civilizations and then what happens I don't think I have to say any more about it I think they do a good job of expressing it so here it is <laughs> Everybody was happy. Everything was great after World War XI ended. Until yet another war broke out. And with war, as always, came chaos. Aaron! Oh, Aaron! Aaron! The military, the government, towns and villages, and nature itself. They all collapsed. This is my first time seeing her It's so good. I mean, people have a great about it. Two households. Both alike in dignity. And fair Verona where we lay our scene. And, and never there is a tale of more woe than... Wouldn't this be easier if we won the last war? Didn't we win the last war? I don't know. I don't know either. No one knows anymore. Can someone help me? Anyone? Please? 
go tell somebody. Yes, it's fine. Where? Thank you. Okay, check it out. Salad? 
I just gave it to her. Okay. Fine. Fine. Okay. Cakes. Fruit cake, though. Um, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Thank you. Um, no, absolutely not. Bring it back. You cold? Yeah, right now. No, it's not. Okay, I'll take it back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. Can I have soup? Oregano. Fine. Chowder. 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 I'm sucking the pork. Two muffins. Two muffins. Chop that. 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 Burgers, muffin, Steak. There you go. Steak. Oh, need more fish. Yes. Chicken. Guys, birthday cake, 47. Oh. That's good enough. No, I'm stopping this. 47 was gross. Apples. Apples for sale. Apples. Stand over here. Any type you can think of. Hi there. I was really admiring your ball of apples. Have a few more. Um, two, please. Alright, um, uh, 150. 150, here you go. Have a great day. Thank you. Hi there. Sweaters, wow. scarves, those are some caps. really beautiful sweaters. You make them all yourself? Yeah, I did. Wow. <laughs> it takes a while, but it's my passion, so. They're very beautiful. I'll, I'll come back later. Alright. We've got some beautiful landscape paintings here. Are you with Wow. That ocean one, I really like the colors in that. Louder. Are you interested in purchasing it or? Uh, um, I think I'll definitely come back. They're okay. all very beautiful. Okay. Peanuts for sale. Um, oh, I would love to finish this. Do you have like right. some like salted ones? Salt is right here. Thank you. How much is that? Uh, five. Five dollars. Five dollars. Have been made, sir. March! Liberators. 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 And the Liberator's destruction was so total that all that remained was one man. One woman and one flower. <laughs>